Aries, you versus them for the 9th through the 16th. This reading's for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see how you guys felt about this person or this relationship before. Aries. How do Aries feel? A lot of cards want to flip over there. Can't do it. The Magician. You guys felt like you were doing everything that was in your power to make this work. Everything within you, you were trying to make this relationship work. You felt like you were doing most of the work. Maybe this is a Gemini or Virgo individual that um, is in question here. Hmm. There's something about them too that made you feel like they were like working against you and they knew what they were doing. So let's see how they felt about you guys or the relationship. How did they feel? Three of Cups. I feel like this person, um, they like people around. They enjoy being around you, but I feel like they they made you feel like they weren't really having a good time when you guys were by yourselves, but when you were around people, it was like, yeah, all hunky-dory. They also may have been um, more interested in like being around other people or like going out with other people, engaging with other people, talking with other people, spending time with other people. So for some reason, it it's like it wasn't just you and them, okay? Cancer energy there. What's currently going on with my Aries? The Hierophant. You know, I feel like right now you guys are basically... Mm, you're doing something traditional, but I feel like it's not so traditional with the magician and the hierophant being here i feel like a lot of you guys are not necessarily religious but you're spiritual um your beliefs may differ from other people but i feel like you're still um from the outside looking in it may look like you guys are very um by the book but I don't get that you guys are by the book, so to speak, okay? I feel like you have your own way of doing things, your own way of being, and um, you don't make any excuses for it, okay? That's Taurus energy here. Some of you may actually be in relationships or teaching um, other people. And showing them, uh, like sharing your beliefs with people, okay? What's currently going on for the other person? Seven of Cups. This person's in a state of confusion. I feel like they also are wanting you guys to be an option. They miss being around you. They miss spending time with you. This is Scorpio energy here. I feel like and it's right next to the Three of Cups, which makes the Ten of Cups. Um, even though you guys probably felt like this person um, took you for granted, this person really felt like you guys were the one. You made them feel uh, good inside you make them feel like you really cared about them and right now they're they're at the point where they don't really understand why they are feeling such a loss um, because when they were with you again they took it took advantage of you or took you for granted even and um, but they still want you as an option here okay Sorry, guys. Let's see what's influencing your current situation right now. What is influencing Aries right now? Two of Swords. 
two of swords there's something that you are not making a decision on there's something that you're not seeing clearly um, and it may have everything to do with this person maybe you're holding them accountable for more things than or harsher you're holding them accountable um, a lot harsher than what um, maybe you should be you know uh, it's, it's almost like yeah they did bad shit they did bad shit but was it really that bad is the question okay um, are you holding their feet to the fire and holding them to a higher standard than what should be expected is a thing here so there's definitely something here that is um, it, that you're not seeing that you're not wavering from either it's like you're not making uh, any other moves or decisions about this person it's like it's done and you're not seeing anything else other than what you know you you've spoken of before Libra energy there with the two of swords what's currently influencing the other person five of swords they want to win they want to win they want to win you over they want to change your mind they want you guys to freaking see them Aquarius energy they want to be noticed by you I feel like this person did hurt you I feel like they were very selfish with you and whatever they did they knew what the fuck they were doing they just didn't expect for it to turn out this way okay that you guys are not like seeing them like you used to is what's going on here let's see what's coming in for you guys okay Oh, moving on, moving forward. Sagittarius energy, not letting anything hold you back, period. Going for the gusto. I feel like you're leaving this person behind and they feel it energetically. They feel it. What's coming in for them? The chariot. Oh, this is them too. I mean, it, it just feels like this person... Um, what they're missing is the emotional support that you provided for them. I feel like you made this person, you built them up. Okay. You built them up and, and you know how people say that, you know, you made a monster because you made them feel, um, like they were the man or they were the woman and they took that shit and they ran with it. Uh, I do feel like this person is like gearing up to like, you know, move forward too. Because they definitely want to be successful. Now, with the chariot, I feel like there's something that they're looking for in particular. I feel like that's you. So if this has been a situation that's been stagnant for you, this person has not contacted you or reached out to you, I feel like that shit's coming uh, with this chariot energy, energy because they want you in their corner. Okay? They want you in their corner. I feel like they're going to communicate with you if they haven't already. Again, Cancer Energy. What is the outcome here for Aries? Ace of Pentacles. There's a new start on the table here with the Ace of Pentacles. This could definitely be an offer to date again. This could be um, an offer uh, proposal. But this is definitely uh, something you're moving towards that has um, the potential to have longevity. Something with substance, stability, security here. This could also be money coming in for you guys okay so keep that in mind there's some good shit coming your way what is the outcome for them four of swords this person is going to take a rest they're going to take a rest i feel like you know they're going back to the four of swords from the five of swords because what what is going to relax them is once they actually get what it is they want here with the chariot energy okay i do feel like there's some hurt that they're dragging with them and they may not even appear that they're hurt to other people but um i do feel like uh that 
it's bothering them that they're not getting the attention from you that they once got. This Ace of Pentacles may have absolutely nothing to do with this person, okay? And they may end up, um, you know, just realizing that you guys are done with, with this. You're done with this situation. And you're not turning back. And then they not speak. They go into like, you know, self-reflection and, and, you know, just taking a break from dating or spending time with other people to try to get themselves together. Because this may be something totally separate for you, away from them. This may be with someone else or something else. Again, it can have everything to do with money. But it's definitely something good um, and beneficial for you guys here, okay? Um, this is Libra energy here with the Four of Swords. So you have um, air and you have water that is uh, in your energy, I feel. Sagittarius is here as well. Taurus is here. Um, I feel Virgo is here, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.